everybody. Look, I've been at enough of these fantastic award evenings to know that the trick to speaking at them is to be very, very short. Uh, so thank you for that clap. Uh, I'm also the shadow leader of the House, so every week in Parliament, I am used to talking over a shouting rabble, baying for my blood. So I think I'm well practiced for this evening. But I wanted to come along to say I absolutely fully support these awards this evening. My own favourite is a chicken sheesh with chilli and garlic. I'm sure that's a favourite of many here. But I know it's been a really tough time for the industry. You've had uh, Covid and all the difficulties that came with that. The cost of living crisis now, which is meaning your costs are going up just at the same time that your customers don't have any money. We hear what you're saying. From the Labour Party point of view, we hear what you are saying. And there are many things we're going to do if we win that general election later this year. The first thing we're going to do is reform business rates. So I hope you can cheer that this evening. We're also going to help support our high streets because kebab shops are the centre of our high streets and we need to get new lifeblood back into them and we'll support you doing that. We're going to change the apprenticeship levy to make it easier to hire all those staff that you need to work in the kebab shops. And I hear what you say about VAT. I can't stand here and promise that because any of you who know Rachel Rees, our Shadow Chancellor, will know I am absolutely not allowed to tell you that. But I hear what you're saying anyway. But we're really looking forward to the awards this evening. I'm particularly looking forward to seeing whether Café Istanbul from Manchester Central wins an award later. Are you here, Café Istanbul? I hope you're going to win an award. But finally, look, I know this is a cross-party event this evening and it's great that it is, but I, I was a bit surprised to see that the Conservative Party weren't up for an award tonight, right? Because, yeah, I mean, they're just so good at skewering, skewering themselves, obviously. So I thought maybe they'd get one, but hey, look, but there's more. There's more if you want it. Um, <laughs> but look, GB News, I, I, was surprised, I wasn't surprised they weren't up for an award, right? Because GB News are not exactly known for their grilling. Uh, they give their Tory MPs a free pass every night on their show. So anyway, look, it's all, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Anyway, but have a great evening. And thanks once again to Ibrahim for organising these brilliant awards tonight and good luck to all those shortlisted. Thank you.